Hey, what's up guys? Beast from out here and apparently YouTube is broken yet again. I am not surprised in the slightest. So let's go ahead and get on into this. Why it's broken. So I hopped on today, you know, like every day after school, and decided, you know what, I feel like uh I feel like checking my YouTube and uh, I go to one of my videos because I checked out I'll show you guys really quick exactly what happened. I'll go to a previous red here. And it says, uh, I can't watch the video. And one of my friends, you know, Blob, he said, I can't watch the video. And I was like, well, you know what? That's kind of hilarious because this video was put up, uh, oh, I don't know, a day ago. And it's already got 47 views. Now, it worked just fine the day of getting published. But for some reason, it just decided to not work today. Oh, YouTube, you are, uh, you're doing good. I got a question for you, though. How is it that out of all the money that you get, for your business you know because let's be honest here the people who run youtube or google you're rich as hell i don't give a shit you're really you're rich every one of your workers is probably well off financially but yet you can't put enough time into one of your main used websites next to your search engine which is google hmm it's a little bit weird you would think that uh and just to show you guys i'm not bs and i'll refresh it watch it work now Oh, it works now. Isn't that just hilarious? See, YouTube, you're always buggy. And uh, the funniest thing is, too, whenever you went to select the quality, none of these worked, not even 144p. And uh, just to be clear, my internet is uh, 60 download, 11 upload. And I can ping anywhere in the U.S. within about 20 ms, but I usually get about, uh, you know, 10, 11. So that's pretty fast. That's a pristine internet connection. So it's not that. Now I'm assuming I can probably load it in 1080p just fine. Uh, it looks to be that way. Yeah, it, it works just fine now. Okay, but I, that still doesn't matter. It's the fact that it didn't work for whatever reason. And this is a problem because I guarantee you a lot of people that do this as they're living, and I personally don't, but I'm sure that frustrates the ever-living piss out of them whenever their viewers, like they're not getting as much views, I guarantee you they could because their videos are not getting in the sub box even when they do get in the sub box you can't view the video sometimes and then even if they do you know miss the video then of course like i said it's not in the sub box so oh man you, you google you got to do something about this this is one of your main uh websites i really hope that uh you get your head out of your ass and actually focus on this instead of whatever the hell you're doing you're probably you're probably twiddling on your phones making some uh, other inventions. Look, I understand you do great things. You do. You made a bunch of great websites. But drop Google+. Plus. Seriously, no one gives a shit about Google+. Plus. There's very few people that do. Uh, the fact that... And the reason I'm talking about Google+, Plus is because you're really trying to push the envelope about... Hey, can you uh, check out Google+. Plus? No, we don't give a shit because it's shittily made. It is not made properly. I don't think Google+, Plus is made that well. Think about it. Why do you think so many people are on Twitter or Facebook, even Instagram? Because it actually brings something to the table unlike Google Plus does for a lot of users. Me personally, I don't use it and I don't have anything against it, but I'm just saying for the public, the majority of the people, we do not want it. It's uh, it's ironic how you're trying to force these things onto people. I will admit though, some of the things that you didn't, you know, some of these new updates are nice. But like I said, you have to focus on getting these bugs fixed, man. It's it's ridiculous. It's getting to the point now where uh, YouTube will literally be shut down from people just, you know, jumping ship, so to speak. It will get shut down if enough people do it. Now, this will take a while, but it will gradually lose quality over time. It's already jumped far down in the quality. Like, the quality has degraded, uh, you know, really drastically within the past two years. About since 2012 was when you started seeing the YouTube quality drop. When you started seeing all these bugs and careless mistakes happening. And I think that's a lot to do with more and more people getting on YouTube. But that doesn't justify all the main problems with the site. It's ridiculous. I'm going to check this again just to make sure that it works. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm just going to go back to YouTube. And then I'm going to go to my channel and try that again. I just want to make sure this works because... My frustrations with YouTube has become way too much lately. It's ridiculous. It's made a lot of YouTubers quit. Even the ones that don't even do it for a job, they just quit because they're fed up with it. You've got to stop this, Google, seriously. Or whoever's in charge of YouTube. I know it's Google. Don't try and act like it's not. You own YouTube. It's your job to fix it. 
So we're gonna go to videos. We're gonna check this video again. And I swear if it doesn't work, I'm gonna laugh. Okay, it works just fine, like I said. And it loaded it in 1080p. That's kind of funny because usually it starts it off in 360p. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I know it was a rant, but I'm really ticked off. And I'm trying to stand up for the people that actually, uh, you know, care about YouTube and do this for a living. Like, I don't do this for a living and I'm ticked off. Could you imagine the people that rely on this as their income? All the bugs that's wrong with this. Imagine if this site was actually optimized like it was back in about 2010. I understand people are like, well, they fixed a lot of problems. You're right, but of course, they have really bad problems with the sub boxes. The sub boxes are broken. They've been broken for a long time. But they used to work, like everything used to work really well because I think they try to overcomplicate things. Anything that's overcomplicated is a bad thing. Sometimes less is more. I really wish that these companies would understand that. Game developers think more is better. Uh, everything, like no, that's not the case. Simplicity is what makes or breaks something. You either are too simple and it's not good enough or you're just, you know, the perfect amount of simplicity and it actually works. Uh, that's why you see a lot of these series, franchises, or just anything uh, go down the shitter, so to speak, is because they try and overcomplicate things. Look, Google, just take some notes. I know you're not going to watch this video, but seriously, uh, simplicity helps. Stop trying to just benefit one side of a faction. I don't think it's fair to benefit just one side. If you're going to try and benefit anything, benefit everybody. Benefit the people who actually grew you, you know, who helped you grow. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was like, you know, again, I said a rant. And I apologize for that, but I'm, I'm very ticked off. I'm very displeased with the uh, with the things that have, you know, been going on lately. It's, very, it's pretty ridiculous, really, it is. But uh, I'll see you guys later.